Hi everyone, Melanie here from Balloon Artworks in Derbyshire in the UK. Well today I'm actually not in Derbyshire, I'm on holiday in Wales but I made sure I packed my essentials. So I've got my balloon twisting kit here uh, with my hand pump and a few 260s and five inch rounds and uh, I'm going to film a little tutorial for you. And by the way, this little rucksack is really, really cute. And I find it really useful for carrying my supplies around when I'm on the move and I don't need too much with me. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description below as to where you can get this balloon animal rucksack. I'm going to be showing you how to make this eight petal daisy flower. So it's a lot bigger than your standard daisy. And if you make it in the blue and yellow colour scheme, it also works really well as a forget-me-not. And I'm going to be showing you how to finish off the end of your flower stem with one of these little bobbles with a poodle tail on the end. So I've got a really good technique to um, make these poodle tails. I struggled with making poodle tails for the longest time. So right at the end, I'm going to show you how to make this. So be sure you watch to the end to uh, uh, get, get that technique. Okay, so let's get started. So you're going to need four 260s in colors of your choice. I'm using pale pink and today I'm using the Sempertex 260s, but if you've got the Colortex 260s, they're absolutely fine too, a really good uh, choice. So whichever you prefer or whichever you've got, I'm going to be using one green 260 and I've got this sort of pale lemon, pale yellow. And I'm going to be just using the tip of a darker pink. So if you've got a scrap bag, delve into your scrap bag and get yourself just the tip of one of your 260s. So I'm starting with the pink. And I've got my hand pump today, so I'm going to inflate with about six strokes of the hand pump. And I'm using the Qualitex hand pump, which I do recommend because the thing I like most about the Qualitex hand pump is you get a very consistent amount of air in, into the balloon. So if you count the strokes, your balloons will inflate to the same size. So if you're doing three strokes, three full strokes, one, two, three, you'll get the same amount of air into each balloon. We're going to use six strokes of the hand pump. So I will also leave a link to where you can get the Qualitex hand pump. I'll leave that link in the description below. Okay, so grab your main colour and inflate with six strokes of the hand pump. Okay, just let out a little bit of air just to soften and then tie. If you're using Qualitex balloons, you'll probably have a slightly shorter tail because these Sempertex balloons or Metallitex if you're in the uh, US, they're a little bit longer than Qualitex. So don't worry if your tail here is a little bit shorter. So we're starting with the nozzle end here. Just bend your balloon over and we're going to make loops of about six fingers, okay? So there's my thumb. So put loops of about six fingers and just twist, okay? And then pass that neck and nozzle through that first loop because that's just gonna help make, it, make sure that first loop doesn't come undone, okay? Give your balloon a little bit of a squeeze just to soften it and then make another loop to match this one. So just bend the balloon over, measure, you can measure again with your hand and then twist. And before you really commit, just measure against that first loop. Mine's looking a little bit small, so I'm just going to unravel it and make it just slightly bigger and then twist. Okay, take hold of that knot and nozzle and just wrap it around that second loop because that's just going to help secure that second loop, okay? We're going to make a third loop to match the first two. So again, soften your balloon just slightly, bend it over, measure, okay? And put a twist in. I tend to put just one twist in and then I look, okay? I'm a little bit um, smaller again, so I'm just making it a little bit bigger 
and then twisting. And then I'm going to wrap that third loop around one of the first two. Okay. And then bend your balloon over and measure. Okay. And then twist. And just check again. Happy with that. So twist. And then just wrap all these loops around one another. And you can just snip off the end here. Let's make a little snip there. And oops, <laughs> don't drop it. <laughs> and then just tie everything. Just tie a knot, okay? So you've got this cluster of four loops and you want to make another one of these. So just take your two clusters of loops and just squish them together, okay? So just pull one through into the other cluster. Now at this point, don't worry about trying to put these in any kind of order. We're going to sort that out in just a minute. So I wanted to do a flower video for you because we've seen so many wonderful things on holiday. Uh, we're at the seaside. The weather's been a bit mixed. We've had some very good days and we've had some rainy days as well. But it's just such, a, Wales is just such a wonderful place and it's just nice to be out in nature and enjoying the wildlife and the, uh, the flora and the fauna. So um, he, he, is, he is my inspiration from this holiday. <laughs> Next, I'm using my pale yellow or pale lemon. And we don't want to inflate this very much. Just a couple of strokes, we're not going to use all of it. Okay, tie, and then just give your balloon a squeeze just to soften it, and then twist off a small bubble of about two and a half fingers, and turn that into a pinch, to pinch twist. So just bend your balloon over, take hold of that knot and nozzle, and just fold it over, and then twist, okay? And then we want to make another bubble, approximately the same size. And then you can bend your balloon over. We're going to pinch twist this as well. So just grasp hold of this bubble, pull it upwards, and as you do so, twist it around. So it sounds a little bit brutal, I know, but it's a really useful technique to, uh, to master. So I'll show you that slowly. So just pull that up, twist it around, okay? And you can let go. And then we're going to do the same thing with a third bubble. So make a third bubble of approximately the same size. Bend your balloon over and make a pinch twist. So I'm just going to pull that up and twist it around. Okay, so we've got four pinch twists. Sorry, we've got three <laughs> pinch twists. There you go. And we're going to do that with another bubble. So this is the fourth bubble. Just fold your balloon over, pull that up and twist it around. Okay. And then one more bubble. So very approximately the same size. Bend your balloon over, pull that pinch twist upwards and twist it around. Okay. And then what we can do is we can break this off or we can cut it off. And then just tie them up. Okay. What I like to do is I just like to wrap the rest of this 260 around and cinch everything together. Okay, so now we can start to put these pinch twists in some kind of order. Okay, and if you find that one's sitting not quite right, then just swap it around with another one because you tend to find that um, if you just move it to a different spot, it just looks so much better. So that's what you've got. Next, take your green. So we're going to make the stem next. And I inflated with six strokes of the hand pump. 
soften the balloon a little bit just by letting a little bit of air out and then tie okay so we've got a nice long tail here and we're going to make three more pinch twists just as we did with the yellow balloon so make a small bubble bend that over taking hold of that knot and nozzle and just twist okay and then make another small bubble. There we go. Bend that over, pull it upwards, and pinch it. Okay, so we've got two pinch twists there. Soften your balloon again just by giving it a little squeeze and make a third bubble. Bend your balloon over, pull that bubble upwards, and just pinch twist it. Okay, so that's what we've got at the moment okay so this works really well if you want to make a paw you know that works really well as a paw for an animal okay we've got a nice long tail here okay so let's start to assemble our flower so take hold of your cluster of pink loops and you want to locate the um, the end of the balloon, the stretchy bit, because we're going to use this to attach the um, yellow centre. Okay, so just start to put these loops um, in order, just, just pat them out. If you've got a flat surface, it works really well. I haven't at the moment, so I'm just going to have to do my best. Just pull that through. Pull that end into the yellow cluster. Okay, so let's just flatten things out a little bit more. So take hold of the end of that pink 260 and take hold of your stem. Pull that 260 into those three pinch twists. And that's what you've got at the back here. And that's what we've got at the front. Next, you just want the tip of a 260 in a contrasting colour. So I've just snipped off a couple of inches of a pink 260. If you've got a scrap, a remnant, then that will work perfectly well. Oops. So we just want a little puff of air in there. So just squeeze it to the end and then let a little bit of air out. So I just want a very small bubble and then tie a knot. So that's just a couple of fingers at most. You can pull this bubble into the center of the flower through to the back and wrap into the pinch twists in this green stem there. And then let's sort everything out at the front here and just arrange everything. So hopefully by now you've got something that looks like this or even better than mine does. I'm sure you've made a great job. I promise to show you how to turn the tip into a little bobble, a little poodle tail. Um, I tend to find that when I'm making bouquets of flowers, Sometimes the stem is just too long. And so I like to finish off with a little bobble. It means you've got a shorter stem and it just finishes off at the end nicely, I think. Okay, so what I do, I take hold of the end and the first thing I do is I just snap the end, okay? So you're kind of relaxing the latex at the end. And then twist a little bubble here. Okay, and what you're going to do next is wrap your fingers around this part of the balloon just to prevent this part of the balloon inflating. So you're not holding on really tightly, you're just holding it lightly. And at the same time as you do that, you're going to press down onto this balloon here and see what happens, okay? 
<laughs> and there you get a poodle tail. And I find since I've been doing my poodle tails this way, I don't have a problem. As I said, I had problems making poodle tails the standard way for so long until I came up with this technique and I find now that it works for me every time. So there you've got your lovely daisy flower or if you prefer a forget-me-not. So be sure to like the video and remember to subscribe and if you're wanting more tutorials I'll leave links in the description below to where you can find some of my premium training videos as well as other tutorials and if you've enjoyed this tutorial I've got lots more flower tutorials so be sure to watch this video next.